Alright, one of the students asked me about these log questions. Uh, for me, I think it's quite easy. But because I have different base and I seldom discuss these kind of questions in my video, so I decided to make a video for this student. So first, when you see the question like this, so normally I will analyze like uh, which term have a log here. So over here, you can see this term actually we have a log. And then this term also have a lot. Normally, I will group them together. But after I group already, I want to see is it possible to factorize out the log or not. So in this case, um, what I will do is this is minus, right? I will move to the other side, make it become plus. So over here, I should have a log 2x plus 1 over uh, log x a equals to a over 3. Alright, then I try to uh, make them have the same base first. Then later, I, I will see do I need to use the substitution method or I, I can just easily factorize this R. So what I will do is I remember about uh, one of the formula here, uh, which is log AB. So if I want to do, I will change to the, okay, let's say AB. Lah. Let me use B. I can change to the base C, something like log C over log C. And then this is B, this is A. Alright, or or I can use another formula, which is I know log AB will equals to 1 over log BA. Alright, if I do this 1 over things, I can actually I move around. I'll make this um, become uh, log AX. But then A, this is 2, is still not the same base here. So in this case, um, depend which one you like. Like I think both also can get the result. Okay, let's say um, I let's use about the second one. I find it quite fun. All right, so therefore I have log two x plus one over. This one will be one over log eight x, isn't it? All right, will equals to eight over three. Okay, because one over one over, right, we we know the whole thing. We can bring to the front. Uh, to the top, isn't it? So therefore, this one I will get about log two x plus log eight x equals to a over three, and I almost got the answer. But this is a. I want to change it to the base two, so I will change base again. Then I will get about something like log two over log two uh, x on the top a. At the bottom is a over three and log two a you should know this one is equal to three so what i will do is i will multiply the whole equation by three then i will have about three log two x plus log two x only because this one is three isn't it i cancel it out so i only left about log two x this one equals to eight all right you just imagine three apple plus one more apple we have four apple isn't it so four log two x equals to 8, then log 2x will equals to 2, then x will equals to 2 power of 2, which is 4. Then I got the answer. Alright, this one is because I use the um, second formula. What if at this step over here, I use the first formula? So let, let's see uh, what is the difference here. Okay, so... Okay, let's do again. I use the another formula. Alright, so let's say this is log... 2x and then I move to the other side become plus isn't it log x a equals to a over 3 all right right now I change the base uh now change it into the base 2 so this is log 2 a over log 2 x all right equals to a over 3 then maybe I can save some step here because I know 1 divided by a fraction basically means flip over, right? Basically means the denominator uh, of the bottom denominator will move to the numerator. Alright, this one will become log 2x over log 2 a will be 3 equals a over 3. Alright, then this one will go back to the equation just now. Alright, multiply 3 for the whole equation. Then we add together, we have 4 log 2x equals to 8. Then we have about log 2x equals to 2. Then we get the x equals to 2 power of 2, which is 4. Alright, just depend on which uh, formula you like about changing base. So both formula also will give you the same result. Yeah, I hope this short video actually can help you understand how to do this kind of log question. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. 
If not, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.